Working Together Word Problems you will definitely bump into working together problems on any state tests, SATs, or other exams. Working together problems usually involve situations in which two people are working together to paint a wall, clean, build a house, and so on. Usually, you are told how long each person takes to paint a wall, and you are asked how long it would take two people to paint the wall when they work together. Working together problems can sound like this. Catherine needs four hours to paint a room. Emily needs three hours to do the same job. How long will it take them to paint the room together? In order to understand these problems, you must be able to find the hourly rate of one person. So for now, let's solve a problem where only one person is working. If Catherine needs four hours to paint one room, how much work will she get done in one hour of time? To solve this problem, we have to divide a single job into parts. We will divide the job into four equal parts, which will be one part for each hour being worked, as follows. To understand this relationship, we should realize that a four-hour job requires one-fourth of the work to be completed per hour. This is the reciprocal of time needed to complete the full job. It takes Catherine four hours to paint one room, so one-fourth is the hourly rate of Catherine. If we add one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, or multiply this rate by four because she needs four hours to paint the room, we get one. The one stands for the single job that will be completed, and it is the standard for all work problems. Now that we know how to find the hourly rates, let's try an example with two people working. Catherine needs four hours to paint a room. Emily needs three hours to do the same job. How long will it take both of them to paint the room together? Let's find the hourly rates of Catherine and Emily. Hourly rates are the reciprocal of the time needed to complete the full job. So Catherine's hourly rate is one over four. Emily's hourly rate is one over three. Next, we choose a variable. I chose X. X signifies how long it will take for both of them to paint the room. Now we make an equation. 1 over 4x plus 1 over 3x equals 1. 1 over 4 is Catherine's hourly rate multiplied by the time it takes them to paint the room together. 1 over 3x is Emily's hourly rate multiplied by the time it takes them to paint the room together. And it equals to 1, because 1 stands for the single job that is going to be completed. Now we solve the equation. 1 over 4x plus 1 over 3x equals 1. We can rewrite the equation into fraction form. x over 4 plus x over 3 equals 1. Now we find the common denominator. Our denominators are 4 and 3. The common denominator will be 12. This leaves us with 3x plus 4x over 12 equals 1. Now we combine like terms and cross multiply. We multiply 12 times 1 and 7x times 1. 7x seven equals 12. x equals 12 over 7, or 1 and 5 sevenths hours. Let's try a similar situation with Catherine and Emily. Catherine needs 4 hours to paint a room. Emily needs 3 hours to do the same job. However, this time they work together for 30 minutes, but then Emily leaves. How long will it take Catherine to finish painting the room on her own? 30 minutes is half an hour. First, we have to find how much Catherine and Emily painted together. To do this, we multiply their hourly rates by half an hour. This is because they worked together for half an hour. Catherine's hourly rate is one fourth. We multiply it by one half, and then we add Emily's hourly rate multiplied by one half. This gives us 7 over 24, is how much painting they did together. Remember that 1 is the full job that needs to be completed. 7 over 24 is only part of the job. Now we have to find how much work Catherine has left. We subtract 7 over 24 from 1. This gives us 17 over 24. 17 over 24 is the amount of the job that needs to be finished. 
Now we write an equation to find how long it will take Catherine to finish painting the room on her own. We multiply her hourly rate, one-fourth, by x. x is the amount of time that it will take Catherine to finish painting the room on her own. 17 over 24 is written on the opposite side of the equation because it is the amount of the job that needs to be finished. We rewrite 1 over 4 times x as x over 4. To get x by itself, we multiplied both sides of the equation by 4. This left us with x equals 17 over 6, which equals 2 and 5 6 hours. This is the time that it will take Catherine to finish painting the room on her own. Let's try another example. A hose can fill a pool in two hours. An open drain can empty it in three hours. With the pipe and the drain open, how long will it take the pool to be filled? This problem is similar to the previous problems, except instead of working together, the hose and the drain work against each other. The hourly rate of the hose is one over two, and the hourly rate of the drain is one over three. Our x value signifies how long it will take to fill the pool. To solve, we write an equation. We multiply the hose's hourly rate by x to get 1 over 2x. Then we multiply the drain's hourly rate by x to get 1 over 3x. We subtract 1 over 3x because they work against each other. The hose fills the pool while the drain empties it. We set this equation equal to 1 because 1 stands for the single job that will be completed. Now we solve the equation. We can rewrite the equation as x over 2 minus x over 3 equals 1. We find the common denominator to be 6. 3x minus 2x over 6 equals 1. We combine like terms and cross multiply. x equals 6, so it will take 6 hours to fill up the pool. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.